welcome back guys in this um tutorial we'll be learning how to create this kind of animation this um anger rotation animation but before we continue don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more um video so let's begin it's going to be quick and fast so the first thing you need to do is to um go to the hangar section on um glow 3d i'll be using this hangar for the animation so let me just double click Um, so what I'll do is to export this anger as um, this thing as OBJ. So I'm going to export it as OBJ. So I'll just go to my pictures and um, let me just save it somewhere. Yeah, quick verify. Yes. So I'm going to save it as anger. So single object. Yes, yes, yes. And select OK. Then we are going to go to Blender next. So I'm going to go to my Blender. Um, I'm going to select File. I'm going to select um, Import. And I'm going to select um, OBG. I'm coming. Yes. So uh, let me see if I'll get it here. I don't okay. So let's do it the other way. I'll go to my Pictures, Tutorial, and my Anger, Import. So, um... So now that my anger is on screen right now, what I just need to do is to just animate it. So let me scroll back a bit. Yes. So uh, I'm going to be doing um, 30 frames per second. So let's assume I want my the front. Or let's assume I want the front of my clothes to um, appear for two seconds, which will be like 60 frames. So what I'll do is let me go to the um, 60. Uh, 60th frame um yes select 60 and um scroll back a bit <coughs> then i'll go to uh, and i want this thing to rotate um 180 because it has to rotate 180 so i'll go to i'll keyframe it by selecting i make sure your mouse is um here on this viewport not here select here and select i to keyframe automatically then um, the next thing I'll do is go to the 90th frame, um, select 90, and um, and I'll write R Z 180. Then I keyframe. So that's it. Then I can just leave it for probably another two seconds. So um, 90, 120, and 150. So let's do 150. And that's the end. So well, we, we know that the total um, frame for this animation is just 150 and that's about five seconds. So uh, what I'll do here is to, let me see. So look at, let's play it. So this is it. So that's just it. So uh, that's all. So I'm going to file and I'm going to import and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to export it as Alembic just the anger so um let me go to my pictures tutorial let me write anger animation yes and um export as alembic very fast so um i'll go back to um clue 3d this same anger uh let's place our clothes on the anger here so let's have the to place this t-shirt on this anger so um i'll double click then i'll add then i don't want the avatar i just want the t-shirt alone okay so um this is it here so uh okay so drag to the side drag it um upward yes this then the next thing i'll just do is to simulate it for the um clothes to relax on the anger so let me click on spacebar okay so now that our t-shirt um has properly relaxed on the anger so what i need to do now is to delete this selected this anger in this um scene here also as long as you don't adjust the um location of this anger only the rotation then it should automatically appear in that um same this same position here 
So let me just delete this one. I'm going to delete that one. Then I'm going to go to file. I'm going to import. I'm going to go to um, Alembic. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to pictures. I'm going to tutorial. Yes, and open. Then select add and select OK. So that's what I'm saying. As long as you don't address location, it should appear here automatically. So what we just need to do first, before we do anything, um, let's arrange this properly on our UV editor. So now these are UV editor. So just select Ctrl A and select this, then apply. Yeah, okay, this is fine. So um close this, then go to um animation. So let's um change this to um animation stable and let's play this. So our animation is ready. So let me just drag this to show the result of the animation before we import it um back to as you can see. So that's the uh rotation effect so so that's all so uh let me just go back to my simulation then i'll go back to uh, file i'll go back to export and i'll go back to um alembic so um let's see um just let's just save it as t-shirt yes i can spell it well so t-shirt then click on save okay um yeah entire region yeah tick yes and select okay so let's wait for it to um export the animation so now that I'm done exporting um, our animation, the next thing for us is to bake our texture. So let's go to the UV editor. Okay. So let's select this icon to bake. Then we're going to select the folder I want to save our um, animation comment. So I'm just. So save. I'm going to um, select only the diffuser normal 4K and save. So while it is um, still um, baking the texture, let's just go back to Blender. So here, yeah, what we do is to select file, select import, select Alembic, and uh, we are going to go to tutorial and select the T-shirt um, and import Alembic. So I'm sure our um, okay still baking, still baking. So let's wait for okay it's done. So let me go back to Blender. So I'll go back to um my shading, yes. So F. So uh, okay. Let me scroll through. Yes. So I'm going to create a new um shader. Select the principal BSDF, Control Shift T. Yes, I'm going to go to my tutorial and select the diffuse and normal coming. Let me look for yes. Select. So let me wait for it to load. Still compiling shader. Okay. Coming. So we have it here, okay. Um, also, you need to increase the roughness. So probably 0 0.7 or 0 0.8, which this is fine. So let's go back to layout. So when I rotate this, you can see. Yes. So um, this is it here. So ignore the old um, 
lagging um, um animation or laggy animation so this is just how to create that kind of animation so um thank you for watching this um tutorial don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more um, videos